Good morning and shalom family. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Well, it is hotting up. There's no question about that. And this is not hype. This is actual watching the signs. We know that Israel is virtually getting surrounded now. You know, we know Russia is moving at the Golan Heights. That's Gog, Magog, that one, um, Ezekiel 38. Um, prophecies all looking on the lines. This is what we're doing. We're watching, brothers and sisters. We're watching the signs and trying to put them, pin them all together to see it visually happening on the earth. We know it's been a horrendous year, hasn't it? It's, you know, even if you're not Christian, you don't believe in end times. If you are a Christian and you still don't believe in end times, if you're just a Christian that's not spiritually switched on, it's end times, or that's what it looks like, you know? And it isn't hype, but you know, I've, there's the Dane um, Coverstone, video has been recorded and is videoed now his prophecies and dreams which point to a very very bad weather in november that's the best thing i can say that will be released um probably this evening uh sorry it'll have been released yesterday this is tomorrow's video because <laughs> i'm belting them out because i feel we've got to i feel we've got to um get them out on to get people into discord boop you know people are coming in warriors are in there now dreams, visions, everything's happening um, there, which is wonderful. But there's a reason why Discord is there. And we're not 100% sure why. You know, Mary said that the she had the, uh, the vision of the dam bursting and flooding as the Lord's people come in. So there's a good reason for Discord. We don't fully understand, but we give it all to God. It is Jesus. It's his account on that. And if you don't know Jesus, then don't waste time. Do it now, please. It's not for me. I don't want your money. I just want your salvation. I want to bring in the kingdom of the Father God. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you are saved. If you keep these things in your heart, if you move on with Father God, you need to pick up your cross and walk with him. That is give your life to him bit by bit as quick as you can. And that's what it's about. It's, it's not of works. It's a gift. You know, it's a gift by the blood on the cross because he died and rose again he was sacrificed for us the son of the most high god that is ha huh. you know let's think about it we owe him something but looking at the, the dane prophecy the dane dream which as i said is coming out um it'll be out before this but i'm also looking at tim henderson's dream as well which marries up with it and if you look at tim's last video or last but one video you will you will see what what this is all about but he had a vision or a dream rather a final attachments are broken this was in 2009 november 2019 november 19th 2019 he had this um the final attachments are broken and these are the attachments to this world they're broken okay according to tim's vision they're broken that's that's what we could say the attachments to this world so everything we've had dream it's gone now we're, we're detached even though we don't feel it this is what tim is saying the old has gone and a new begins that's not his words that's just a simplified version of what he's saying the shedding has begun and we're in transition we're in transition now from 2019 we are all in union with christ now Okay, those who are in Christ, those who are Christ minded and seated with him already glorified and going from glory to glory. He is coming for his bride. We will struggle no more. And we are in a transition period. We're in a transition period. It's already been done for the bride. Okay, um, so switch on to it. Accept it. Move away from the old, get on to the new. That's what Tim is saying. So we're fitting them all together from our point of view. We're fitting all these with Brenda's um, prophecy. And we're, we're seeing where we're going. We're not setting. I'm not sitting here saying I've done it. I'm not sitting here saying I've done it. I'm sitting here saying I'm hoping it to get everybody looking for themselves and, and searching. We do on Discord now. We go through many, many things. It's very rewarding in the chat. There's Discord. Discord, get on it. We need you. We need your gifts. We need all the things that you bring, and we need warriors there to to counsel these people that we believe Jesus is going to bring very shortly, you know, into into the whatever He wants it to be, you know, He'll develop it. 
but it's it's divided now it's it's gone off it's where exactly we believe god wants it to be it's wholesome and it's fun it's fun now <laughs> we, we should have fun there you know um we've got dear people who pray uh, brother frank sister kathy kathy uh, prophesizes over us tell us these things in a localized prophecy way we love her and brother frank cal michael k oh mary oh good grief there's so many victoria i could name so many people that's in there doing the work and holding on to those people who need counseling who need uh talking so that's what this code's about uh do join his link in the description but we're looking still too to build up in these final moments taking on tim's um dream which is fitted into the dane prophecy uh or dream then it's all starting to come nicely together even when my dog is doing things i don't know he just lies here all day he won't come out of this van he's a van dweller um but go to offenders this is the time to go to offenders going back to the commands of jesus this is the time to go to the offenders to, to do the commands of jesus this is the time we can concentrate on them commands of jesus are there's a link in the description i will okay it if you just press it don't worry I, i'll get an email and um but now is a time when we can take the commands of Jesus as a document and we can pray over them and confess them every day because we will never keep them. It's an everyday affair to confess the commands of Jesus and say, sorry, Lord, forgive me. I confess. You know, I turn around. I repent. You know, I'll, I'll do better tomorrow. The enemy doesn't have a hold then, you know, because he can't accuse us on them subjects. It's just another weapon in the arsenal of the double edged sword. But uh First one, go to offenders. Moreover, if brothers shall tras trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. Think about this. But if he will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more. That in the month of two or three, in the mouth of two or three, witnesses Every word may be established, and if he neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as a heathen man and a publican. That's quite a long one, you know, and how do we confess with that? That's a command. Well, we'd act on that, and we could say, Father, forgive me, I, I, I didn't do what, what, what you asked me to do, Jesus. Forgive me, I confess, and then go and do it. Okay? Then go and do it. Um, beware of covertness. And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covertness. For a man's life consisteth not of abundance of things which he possesseth. Luke 12, 15. Um, that's interesting. And I'd say um, in a shorter version that never let the things you own own you. Not now. You know, um, sell it off get rid of it empty your life of the things that you own but they own you they own you so move move on from that if you can it's short i believe and we're trying okay forgive offenders we need to do this we had so many so many um scripture from from the gospels from jesus mouth that's just, we've got to forgive this this is again a big one in um the healing and deliverance ministry in, in, in so many aspects because unforgiveness is a foothold to the enemy. That's where we'll come and he'll turn that into lying then and all sorts of things. We'll not go into that at the moment. But, uh, you know, we can... Well, let me read it. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me and I forgive them and I forgive him till seven times? Jesus said unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until 77 times, Matthew 18, 21 to 22, forgive. Again, this one that pops up and you go, oh, oh as I'm reading these, I'll go, oh, Lord, I haven't, I haven't, there's people I haven't forgiven. Please, please forgive me. I confess that. And then go and do it. Send them an email, text, direct message, whatever, you know, do it. And then the enemy doesn't have a foothold on you then. He can't go to heaven and say, well, your word says he's, he's not to do these things, Lord. Uh, God, you know, you're not. He's not to do that. He's doing them. So I'm accusing him. He's a, he's a liar. Okay, so that's what it's about. This, this is an interesting one. Honor marriage. <clears throat> the marriage is a union between two people. I, I suggest a, a, a spiritual 
where um, the sexual affairs, where you've you've um, consecrated the marriage. Let's put it that way. Let's keep it clean. Um, where two people become one, you know, because where two more people, where people are joined together, they become one. You know, this is a big um, thing. But on a marriage, and this is where a lot of hype breaks marriages up. I, I see this all the time. This is the time to turn your marriage around. This is the time to go and love, forgive, forgive, and get back to your spouses and those that might have a chance of getting in. It's just a thought. Don't don't slaughter me on that one. And he answered and said unto them, Have you read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female and said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother and shall cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. They become one in the spirit as well. Wherefore they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. But don't put it asunder yourself. You know, don't put your own marriage. And we've been through tough times. I've been through tough times. So I, I, I qualify for repenting on that one and for confessing on that one. So, you know, that's, that's where we are. We're looking out. There's videos coming out. Two, maybe three a day. If I can do them, if I can keep up, pray for me, brothers and sisters. You know, we know that prophecy is fulfilling itself. Or certainly it's a good replica of it isn't we're going to keep on looking um, and thinking for ourselves because we trust no man we trust no man god says trust no man jesus says trust no man so we've got to look and discern for ourselves and that's what we're doing that's what we're doing if anybody's wondering <laughs> okay brothers and sisters but may, i'll just leave you and may god bless you keep you make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you this day until we meet again but always god bless